Danny Lightning here, and Tempest many years ago was very different than Tempest in 2024. Well, Tempest itself hasn't really changed, but the game has. The majority of the boss cars are lousy cars these days. There was a time where some of them were some of the fastest cars in the game, or they were really good cars, but in 2024, Tempest really isn't that great. So the first thing to know is most of the boss cars are slow and some of them are extremely bad. There's a few that I actually like and that are worth getting. Tempest will not disappear from your map, so there's no reason to be in a hurry to do it. A lot of new players get in this big hurry to do Tempest, and what they do is they get crappy cars, they start wasting their resources upgrading this car, putting their parts into this car, putting their parts into that car, not even knowing if that car is going to be fast enough to beat the bosses once they max it out, and they are completely wasting their resources. My advice is do not run Tempest until you have a car that you know is a fast enough do not put resources into a crappy car to run tempest wait till you get good cars put your resources into those and then when the good cars are fast enough run tempest it doesn't matter if it takes a year like i said tempest is not going to disappear from your map and the boss cars are not that great they're really cool to have in your collection but you're not going to miss out if you don't have the boss cars at least right away the only boss car in the game that I really, really do like is the Sesto Elemento on stage 5 parts only. It does have a nice live racing setup. Some of the tier 1 cars are cool to have, some of them are fun, but the majority of the boss cars kind of suck. Now don't get me wrong, you do want to do the Tempest races, you do want to win all of the boss cars, but you don't want to put resources into crappy cars just to rush through and get those. You just want to wait till you get good cars, put the resources in the good cars, and then just kind of do Tempest at your own pace. And don't worry about doing it quickly because collecting those boss cars is great, but you don't need to have them right away. I really love the Sesto Elemento. I like the little Civic. I like Sneak's Ford Focus Trackster. I like KJ's Rocket Bunny for basically live racing. It's not something I would drive often, but every once in a while I take that little guy in the live races because it looks cool and it's fun, but it's still not a great car. Even the Sesto Elemento is a lousy car compared to the majority of the cars or a lot of the cars in the game. There are cars that are about a thousand times better than the Sesto Elemento. So even the best boss car is only so-so at the moment. I do feel like you want to do the Tempest. You do want to collect all the boss cars, but do not be in a big rush. Do not be in a big hurry. Do not put your resources into lousy cars just to try and finish Tempest quickly because the, the Tempest cars, the boss cars, aren't really going to benefit you very much because most of them, you're going to get better cars quickly and you're never going to drive those boss cars anyway mainly unless it's just for fun or maybe a couple that are decent live racers but the majority of them are currently not good live racers most of them are slower they're they're just so so cars for the most part so don't be in a rush don't be in a hurry don't waste your resources wait till you've got a good car that's fast enough and then race the bosses and finish it as a new player, it can take a really long time to acquire your resources, so you want to be very picky and choosy on which cars you actually upgrade and put your resources into, because you don't want to waste your resources. So when choosing which cars to upgrade or to put your resources into or your parts into, just make sure it's actually a good car and you're not wasting your time or your resources on a car that sucks. If you go to my channel and you'll scroll down, you'll find my how to drive playlist that has about a million videos on how to drive different cars. And the majority of those show you the car on stage five. It shows you the car on stage six. It shows you a review on the car. And if there's a live racing setup, it puts that in there as well. So you might want to check out some of those videos before upgrading a car. At the time I'm making this video, there's like 1,100 cars in the game. And I don't have a video for all of them, but I probably got videos for four or 500 of the cars. So there's a pretty good chance I'm going to have a video for a lot of the cars. Maybe not all of them, but that that... That is a lot. That is a lot of cars that we currently have. And the sad thing is the majority of those cars are either just so-so or not very good. And then there's the ones that really just rise above, which might be like, I don't know, 20% of the cars in the game are good. The other 80% are just kind of eh. You know what I'm saying? So be very careful how you spend your resources. Getting resources in this game is very time-consuming. It's very tedious. you got to play and grind and work your butt off to gain these 
parts and game cash and different cars and stuff. So just make sure you're upgrading cars that are worthwhile and not upgrading cars just to get through an event like Tempest. All right, well, I think that's going to wrap this up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. If you drop down the video's description, you'll see my Discord server, my YouTube channels, my merch store, some ways to help support the channel, some links to some awesome microphones, lighting, camera gear. You name it, there's a bunch of really awesome stuff, plus a bunch of game news you might be interested in as well. So, yeah, drop that video's description down, check that out, and we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Lightning out. See ya.